what's up guys welcome back to half men of tech so today is wednesday september 16 2020 and just like apple said ios 14 is now available for download for those that have supported devices it's supported from all the way back to the iphone 6s this device is more than five years old and as you can see i just updated it to ios 14 and also if you have the first generation iphone se that device is also supported on ios 14 the features that i'm about to show you are supported almost on both devices and if an older device doesn't support some of these new features that i want to show you then i will mention it now let's look at some of the new cool features that you would want to look out for the moment you update the first time you notice a a whole lot of pop-up screens that will appear so just click ok and then ok and then also click continue and then basically once you've cleared all the notifications now ios 14 comes with quite a number of new features and changes and so if you scroll all the way to the left you notice that you know you come up to this screen if it's your first time getting to this screen it will ask for permission so that the weather widget can use your location but basically these are the widgets that came with ios 14 and let's say you want to add a widget you just hold it and drag it and you can basically place it in where you want so basically that's how you add a widget and something cool that i want to show you with regards to the widget has to do with stacked widgets so for you to be able to add a stacked widget it has to be the same size so you can see like this widget here if we drag it and you know just drop it on top of this weather widget you can see that you know it goes on right so that is a stacked widget and let me just show you something else also so if we go back here and grab this bigger widget and drag it here and try to perhaps stack this one with it. you can see that it won't accept so for you to be able to stack widget they have to be the same size so if we're to go back here for example and then you know add a widget and then let's say for example we want to add a clock a widget so we just have to go here and go to the clock and look for the same size widget as the one that we would like to add a stack on and then once we click add widget we can drag it here and then we can drop it into this other widget and it becomes a stack so that's how you do stacked widget on ios 14 and that's something cool now the next new feature that i want to show you with regards to ios 14 is one that isn't supported on devices that don't have wireless charging or glass back so it has to do with back tap so what you need to do is go into your settings and then go to where it says accessibility and then you see where it says touch yes come there and then look for where it says back tap it's going to be the menu that is on the bottom and if you click there you can see that you can sort of select what back tap function do double tap and also triple tap so if we select double tap there you can see that you know we have options that we want right so for me i want double tap to basically take a screenshot so i just have to scroll down and look for the screenshot option and then i select it and then if i go back i can select what triple tap does so if i go there i can select triple tap perhaps for siri so now if i do this to my device so double tap you can see that it takes a screenshot and then if i do triple tap you can see that it opens up siri so that is a cool new feature that came with this update now this new back tap feature is actually supported from the iphone 8 and beyond so the iphone 8 is supported and the new iphone se 2020 is also supported and all devices that were released after the iphone 8 but unfortunately for this iphone 6s that we have here it doesn't have this new feature and this feature is only available from the iphone 8 and newer the next thing that i would like to show you has to do with hidden albums so if you open your photos app and you know you go to where it says albums you see under utilities that you have album that says hidden now it, let's say for example you want to completely hide this all you have to do is to go into your settings and then go to photos and you will see an option there that says hidden albums if you turn this on it means that your hidden albums will show up and if you turn this off you can see that when you go to photos the hidden albums has disappeared there and if we turn it back on just by going here and turning on hidden albums right here you will see that it comes back so that is another cool new feature that came with this update now also with this update we have youtube picture in picture so if we go to youtube right and play in this 
specific video let's just turn down the volume all you have to do is to go into full screen mode just like this and once you do that you can always go back to your home menu like this and the video will continue to play it also plays with the volume by the way just in case you are wondering so that's how it works now the downside to this is that this feature only works with safari so if you use the actual youtube app and play any specific video and enter full screen mode and go back to the home screen you can see that this doesn't work so perhaps youtube hasn't updated its services and this is basically like a premium feature that you have to pay for if you want to use the youtube app but i did do a video whereby if you want to enable this using the youtube app you can check it out and that video will be somewhere on top of this video also something new that came with this update has to do with the messages app so you can now pin groups and also you can pin individuals on top just like you can do it on whatsapp so that is something that has been updated and something else that came with this update has to do with the app library so you can see that if you go to the far right of your screen you have this new app library that's here and let's say for example you see an app that you don't see on your home screen here you can sort of you know select it and then just drag it to wherever you want on the home screen and once you're done basically just click done and the app will basically be added as you can see there and to also remain in the app library just because you dragged it there doesn't mean that it will disappear from the app library also with ios 14 if something is using your camera or your microphone you now have indicators in the top right hand corner of your screen so you can see that the camera is open and we have that green dot that you see there the same is true if something is using your microphone even if it's in the background you get an orange indication just to indicate that something is using your microphone and if it's a camera it's going to show a green dot just like this also if we go into the settings right and let's say we go to a specific section and we want to go back right if we hold this option here you can see that you know it will show us options like if we go to the about section and hold the settings you can see that you know if holding that back option gives us more options so if we want to go back to the general section we can do that or if we want to go all the way back to where we started in settings we can do that so that is something new you just select a section and then long press and hold that back option and if you let go it will actually remain there and if you tap this it will take you to where you want to go so that is another cool new feature that came with this update also something else that came with this update if you go into safari and copy your text like and then select copy and then go and paste it anyway right so let's say for example i want to tweet something and paste the text that i just copied by clicking that you can see that it says twitter pasted from safari again if i do the same thing and just paste the text you can see that pasted from safari so this will also show if you paste in instagram it will just basically show you the source that you are pasting from now i don't know why they added that but it's good and it's a cool new feature that came with this update and also while in safari if you go to any certain web page and click the double lays that you see there you now have like a privacy report so if you click that and the website was perhaps collecting any information on you or using web trackers you'll be able to see that data here but since we are on the apple website they actually don't use trackers so that is good and this is something that you'd want to use if you visit websites that you don't trust and also websites that basically use a lot of trackers so basically those are some of the new features that i thought i should share with you when it comes to ios 14 it's a good update and i think that you know if you are excited then you can go ahead and update but there's usually first wave issues that come with a new update the moment it comes out so we might see ios 14 beta 1 perhaps next week just to fix some of the issues that this update will come with as you know it's just been released and it's to the public so most of the issues that are going to be experienced are expected to be addressed in the beta hopefully next week so that's about it for me when it comes to ios 14 it's a good update and these are just some of the new features that i like and i thought i should share with you if you like the video please leave a like and hit subscribe and thanks very much for watching and i will definitely see you next time peace